You'll need a pair of gloves, a couple of beads, milliliters of citric acid, any color of food coloring, and this is optional. Food molds that are used to mold your bath bomb. of citric acid. Next, pour 200 milliliters of baking soda. Mixing the mixture with your hands or with a whisk until you mix the mixture evenly. Pour some water into the spray bottle and then spray the mixture until while mixing it until you get a wet sand texture. Or you could just add a couple tablespoons of olive oil. molds that are used to mold your bath bomb. Make sure to compress the bath bomb very tightly so that it won't break off. After that, tap gently on the bath bomb mold to separate the bath bomb mold and the bath bomb. As the bath bomb touches the surface of the water, solid sodium citrate and carbonic acid is produced. Okay, Bath bomb consists of sodium bicarbonate and citric acid, while sodium citrate is a neutral salt with low activity, and carbonic acid is made up of carbon dioxide and water. The reaction that occurred is a double displacement reaction. Just break my head. One, two, three. I have a feeling in my heart. Two hours later. By adding essential oils and bath salts to the bath bomb, it will help smoothen your skin. It is also used for aromatherapy since it smells extremely good because of the essential oil in it and it also gives a tingling sensation. What a bonus!